Why do women wear panties with flowers on them? In loving memory of all the faces that have been buried there. Two men visit a prostitute. The first man goes into the bedroom. He comes out 10 minutes later and says, heck, my wife is better than that. The second man goes in. He comes out 10 minutes later and says, you know, your wife is better. A mom of an eight-year-old boy is awaiting her son's arrival from school. As he runs in, he says he needs to talk to her about making babies. He claims he knows about the development of a fetus, but doesn't understand the answer to the million-dollar question. Namely, how does the sperm get into the woman? The mom asks the boy what he thinks the answer is. The boy says that the sperm is manufactured in the man's stomach, rises up to his chest, then throat, and into his mouth, where he then kisses the woman and deposits the sperm into her mouth. The mom tells her boy that it is a good guess, but it's wrong. She gives him a hint by telling him that the sperm comes out of the man's penis. Suddenly, the boy's face becomes quite red and he says, you mean you put your mouth on that thing? A couple are rushing into the hospital because the wife is going into labor. As they walk, a doctor says to them that he has invented a machine that splits the pain between the mother and father. They agree to it and are led into a room where they get hooked up to the machine. The doctor starts it off at 20 split towards the father. The wife says, oh, that's actually better. The husband says he can't feel anything. Then the doctor turns it to 50 and the wife says that it doesn't hurt nearly as much. The husband says he still can't feel anything. The doctor now encouraged turns it up to 100, turns it up to 100. The husband still can't feel anything and the wife is really happy because there is now no pain for her. The baby is born. The couple go home and find the postman groaning in pain on the doorstep. There was an elderly man who wanted to make his younger wife pregnant. He went to the doctor to get a sperm count. The doctor told him to take a specimen cup home, fill it, and bring it back. The elderly man came back the next day. The specimen cup was empty and the lid was on it. The doctor asked, what was the problem? The elderly man said, well, I tried with my right hand, nothing. I tried with my left hand, nothing. So my wife tried with her right hand, nothing, her left hand, nothing, her left hand, nothing, her mouth, nothing. Then my wife's friend tried, right hand, left hand, nothing mouth. The doctor replied, wait a minute, did you say your wife's friend too? The elderly man answered, yeah, and we still couldn't get the lid off of the specimen cup. One day, little Johnny asks his mom, how come... When I come into your room, you and you're on top of daddy, you say you're making a sandwich, but after a while I come in again, you're eating a sausage. A man is walking down the street when he notices that his grandfather is sitting on the porch in a rocking chair with nothing on from the waist down. Grandpa, what are you doing? The man exclaims. The old man looks off in the distance and does not answer his grandson. Grandpa, what are you doing sitting out here with nothing on below the waist? He asks again. The old man slyly looks at him and says, Well, last week I sat out here with no shirt on, and I got a stiff neck. This was your grandma's idea. A kid walks up to his mom and asks, Mom, can I go bungee jumping? The mom says no. You were born from broken rubber, and I don't want you to go out the same way. A guy's talking to a girl in a bar. He asks her, what's your name? She says, Carmen. He says, that's a nice name. Who named you your mother? She says, no, I named myself. He says, why Carmen? She says, why Carmen? She says, because I like cars and I like men. What's your name? He says, beer fuck. There is more money being spent on breast implants and Viagra today than on Alzheimer's research. This means that by 2040, there should be a large elderly population with perky boobs, huge erections, and absolutely no recollection of what to do with them. Man, hey baby, what's your sign? 
Woman, do not enter. Jack and Jill went up the hill so Jack could lick her candy. Jack got a shock with a mouthful of cock to find out Jill's real name was Randy. Four nuns are in line to go into heaven. God asks the first nun if she has ever sinned. She says, well, I've seen a penis. So God puts holy water on her eyes and lets her enter. He asks the second nun the same thing and she says, I've held a penis. So he puts holy water on her hands and lets her enter. Then the fourth nun skips the third nun in line and God asks why she did that. The fourth nun replies, well, I need to gargle it before she sits in it. Little Billy came home from school to see the family's pet rooster dead in the front yard. Rigor mortis had set in and it was flat on its back with its legs in the air. When his dad came home, Billy mentioned dad, our rooster is dead and his legs are sticking in the air. Why are his legs like that? His father thinking quickly said, son, that so God can reach down from the clouds and lift the rooster straight up to heaven. Gee, dad, that's great said little Billy. A few days later, when Dad came home from work, Billy rushed out to meet him yelling, Dad! Dad! We almost lost Mom today. What do you mean? asked his father. Well, Dad, I got home from school early today and went up to your bedroom and there was Mom, flat on her back with her legs in the air, screaming, Jesus, I'm coming! I'm coming! If it hadn't have been for Uncle George holding her down, We'd have lost her for sure. Contest in a girl's college. Write a short story which contains religion, sex, and mystery. Winner's story. Oh God, I am pregnant. I wonder who did it. A professor was giving a lecture on involuntary muscular contractions to his first year medical students. Realizing that this was not the most riveting subject he decided to lighten the mood. He pointed to a young woman in the front row and asked, do you know what your asshole is doing while you're having an orgasm? She replied, he's probably playing golf with his friend. Two men broke into a drugstore and stole all the Viagra. The police put out an alert to be on the lookout for the two hardened criminals. Q. What do Kefsi and Pussy have in common? A. Both are finger licking good, and after you are done eating, you have a box to put the bone in. An old lady went to visit her dentist. When it was her turn, she sat in the chair, lowered her underpants, and raised her legs. The dentist said, excuse me, but I'm not a gynecologist. I know, said the old lady. I want you to take my husband's teeth out. A man goes to his doctor complaining about migraines. His doctor tells him, I also suffer from the same ailment. Every time I get one, I give my wife oral sex. When she has an orgasm, she tightens her legs around my head, which gets rid of the pain. You should try it sometime. Two weeks later, on a return visit, the patient tells his doctor, your suggestion worked, and I'd like to tell you that you have a very nice house. <laughs>